You're watching Detroit Public Television's live coverage of the Mackinac Policy Conference on myvote.org. I'm Christy McDonald. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, joining me now here at the desk is Mark Hackle, Macomb County Executive. Mark, it's always good to see you up here on Mackinac Christy, Island. thank you very much for having me again. I appreciate it. You know, and every time I drive up to Mackinac, it feels like I see you on a billboard when I'm almost to the bridge. Is that all part of um, getting Macomb County in the minds of people when they come up here for the policy conference? It is. I mean, it's, a, it's like anything. If you're going to have a company, a business, or even a government entity or whatever, you got to market it. you got to brand it. And so we have been kind of branded before. Macomb County has as a blue collar, kind of a bedroom, you know, a community factory worker. And uh, we're trying to get people within the county to really understand who we are, what we're all about, and as well the region and, and the state. So we're trying to get off underneath that. It's about marketing and branding. Have you changed the perception in the last couple of years, do you think? I think we have. There's been a great response that I've been getting from Brooks, Bob, Dave Bing, and the people from the community. In other words, people from the region. When I go to Wayne County, Oakland County, the city of Detroit, people have been very receptive to Macomb County. And they one, one thing they recognize we have been and will continue to be extremely regional and focused on that. Um, how has the conference treated you so far? What interesting conversations have you had? You know, it's, uh, it's sometimes centered around politics, but really a lot of the people in the business community is, is where I'm kind of reaching out and having some contacts with them. And uh, we're finding out there's a huge interest in investment in Macomb County, not just the downtown city of Detroit, but uh, we're seeing a large increase in people want to invest in Macomb County and uh, as well buy homes. Uh, the housing market has been absolutely incredible as far as its rebound in the county. Let's talk about uh, the money, the, the grant that you just got from the MEDC for $231,000, and what will that do? That's a, you know what, that's one of our, our issues in Macomb County that we have that's uh, strong for us, and that's uh, our defense industry. In Macomb County, it's never been talked about, but it's existed since World War II. Uh, we have, since the arsenal of democracy, the defense cluster or corridor in Macomb County, which is actually the defense capital of the Midwest as far as contracts awarded. 600 companies in Macomb County do defense-related work, 1,600 throughout the state of Michigan. In fact, 71 of 83 counties in the state have some kind of a company or, or organization that does something defense related. So, so that is going to start to th then publicize that and, pu and pump that up? Exactly. And so what we're trying to do is make it, you know, not just the defense capital of the Midwest for Macomb County, but the region and the state. So working with Mike Finney, the governor's office, they awarded us $231,000 to secure more companies that want to come in and track them, as well as market and brand that area for the state, not just Macomb County. So Macomb is making it regional, but we're also making it statewide. When you got that call, what was your reaction? We were extremely excited. <laughs> I mean, we put that uh, proposal together, talked to Mike Finney back and forth, the conversation went, and uh, they accepted it and looked at what Steve Cass and our planning director put together and said, you know what, we like it. We think this is a unique opportunity for us to go right into that sector and try to figure out how do we grow uh, in an economy with uh, within the defense. And so we're extremely grateful for the governor's office, Mike Finney, and uh, we have a feeling there's going to be some good things happening with defense for the state of Michigan. I love the word regionalism. What does it really mean to you, and is it really possible? You know what, when you talk about regionalism, it's about experiencing it. I'm the kind of person that loves to be in the city of Detroit. I've been to Wayne County numerous times and Oakland County, so I experience what's going on there. But you think about Macomb County, they're all in on the smart system. There isn't a community that's opted out. As far as Cobo, we've always supported Cobo with the uh, actual uh, construction of Cobo and expansion of Cobo. Uh, we look at Detroit Institute of Arts, the zoo. We've supported all those regional assets. People in Macomb County truly love that urban center, the city of Detroit. And as a result, we want people to understand that we have value-related opportunities in Macomb County, whether it's our freshwater advantages, the Clinton River 40 one miles of um, Freedom Hill coming back as an entertainment venue, uh, the defense industry, automotive. There's so much going on in Macomb County that adds value to the region, but we also realize how important the region is to Macomb County. So, so have you found the working relationship now over the past two years of being the county executive that it is getting easier? You know what, it is. And for me, the reason for it is I think uh, you got to establish a level of trust. Law enforcement, it was easy for me working with my counterparts, whether it's chiefs of police, uh, director of state police, um, and or other sheriffs within the region. Very easy to connect with them because, you know, that level of trust was built upon for many years. I did it for 30 years. But as a new public official, I guess, elected official into a new position in Macomb County as Nearly a county created. executive, you kind of had to establish yourself with people to say, hey, it's not about partisan politics. It's about a person who really tried to build a reputation within the county itself, but reaching out to those uh, other jurisdictions as part of the region and so I've seen it. Brooks has been a tremendous support for Macomb County as well as Dave and Bob and I gotta say the governor's office without question they've been very responsive to Macomb County needs so it's about trust. What is the one conversation that you want to have before you leave the island? You know what, I think it's more about, you know, how do we change the focus or the, uh, the style of politics uh, within the state? Because I think it'll trickle down into the counties as well. How as so? What, what, what style are you talking about? There's too many, uh, the extremes within parties, I think, sometimes try to force those that are more moderate and inter independent within the party to come back to those extreme positions. And we cannot long, no longer do that. Um, the governor of the state of Michigan in Macomb County won Macomb County. 
as a Republican. I won Macomb County at that same election as a Democrat. So people in Macomb County aren't looking at that R&D. They're looking at people that they say have a good plan and want to solve problems and are going to come together to try to resolve those differences if they can. So I think people are more interested in today in trying to figure out how do we get politicians to quit with their partisan aspect and their special interests and really come together as you know people who are willing to commit themselves to try to solve problems as opposed to advance their political agenda. Do you think that's possible and what do you think can be done? I think it's possible. If more people have that same kind of mindset that mm -hmm. get into politics. Uh, it's hard to get in because uh, most of the time to try to get in, you got to be gotta have a machine. You got you've right. got to be and you're almost uh, beholding to someone. And uh, you know, fortunately for me, uh, when I ran for sheriff, I didn't have a lot of support. There weren't a lot of people from the party. There weren't a lot of people as public officials that endorsed me, which is okay. I really don't ask for endorsements, but I had the endorsement of the public in the end. They were the ones that said you're elected as a sheriff. So right away, I was able to kind of break into that without having to worry about being beholding or owned by someone, if you will, uh, to do what it is I do. And so even as county executive, same thing. I didn't go out asking for public officials to endorse me, just the public. I wanted them to say, we trust you, we want you, and with that, just work with people that want to do the right thing. So until we get to that point where there are more people that want to get into politics with that mindset, it's going to be a difficult challenge because unfortunately some of them feel like I better do what they say, otherwise I may not get to the next level or I may not get reelected or they're going to run somebody else against me. And that's, that's awful. That's got to change. It's an interesting perspective, Mark. Thanks. I All appreciate right. it. Well, thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of the conference. Thanks, Chrissy. And you are watching Detroit Public Television's live coverage of the Mackinac Policy Conference. Stay with us.